to do this, I'm going to have to work upside down. There was no way for me to get this on the table so that you can see. So what I want you to do is go ahead and grab your piece and get your hook and your yarn and I'm gonna call the stitches out because this is a lot larger and many of you, because of the number of stitches that you will have to use, will be working on a longer length, okay? So we will be on a color row. So grab your color And I'm going to try to stay in frame because I cannot see. I'm going, I'm going to show you something though, okay? Now let's just pay close attention. This is why I don't have a written pattern for this particular piece. Okay, when you um, finish your last row, like we did here, and you flip, and you change your, and, go, and you go to your next color, you, um, if you end on uh, like for example this end we ended on um, this was a double crochet here on this end when you start your next color row you're going to start with a um, a half double okay so on either on certain some ends you will start with half doubles and on ends where you end on a high stitch you, you basically want to start off with a low stitch if you end in a low stitch you want to start with a higher stitch a taller stitch okay so what I mean by a low stitch that's going to be your half double or your single um, if you um, end on a, a low stitch like a have double or single when you come back around and you start off with the color row you want to start off with your double crochet or a triple and it doesn't have to be perfect the reason why you want it, it will balance out in the end with the waves okay and um and what you're doing for the actual sequence is really very simple you're doing um you'll do you're doing three singles two half doubles two doubles three triples okay that's the peak of your high then you'll go back down two doubles um two half doubles and then you'll do three singles and that will be your low point which is like your valley okay and so and you'll keep going once you finish those three singles you'll go from those singles all the way back up the scale it's like playing cards or something but once you do those three singles you'll go back up to two half doubles two doubles then your triples so here we go so what we're going to do is add on our yarn. And I hope this is making sense. If it doesn't, just put comments in the question box and, and we'll go from there. I'm going to make this a little bit longer, my slip stitch. Now on this piece, I do not weave the ends in. And I, and I decided I wasn't going to in the beginning. And so I, I'm going to just leave them that way. I'm going to do just this... A color row okay so on this one you're going to add it on give it a little tug and since we end it high we're going to start with the half double so um, do a chain one and you're going to yarn over and go in that same stitch and pull through I hope you can see this okay so that's one half double we'll do another half double and you're going to do three singles one I'm sorry two three now we're going to go back up so we will do two half doubles one two 
two in two doubles. Two, and now three triples. And you may hear noise in the background. I'm just going to say excuse me in advance because family's here. <laughs> okay, now that was three triples and we're going to do two doubles. So now we're going down the scale. It's one double, two doubles. Now you do two halves. And three single crochets. One, two, three. So now we're at the, basically this is your valley. I'm gonna call it your valley. Now once we are um, at the end of the valley, at the end of doing those three singles, we're gonna go right back up. So now we're gonna do two half doubles. It's one, two. We're going to do two doubles. Three triples. One, two, three. This is the peak. Okay, so now this was a full wave. Now we're back at a peak. Now we're going to go back down by doing two doubles, crochets, crochets. One, two, two half doubles. And three singles. One, two, three. Again, I always do patterns that are very forgiving. It does not have to be perfect. The main thing that you want is you want your peak, which is our three triples, and our valleys, which is our three single crochets, to, um, you just want to make sure that in between your peak and your valley you do the same number of stitches and then you do the same thing on the flip side so meaning you, you just keep repeating that pattern you would do three triples two doubles two half doubles three singles then you do two doubles because we're going to increase right two I mean two half doubles two doubles three triples I'm going to keep going because I think if I just keep doing it you'll see you can always mix and match these stitches as well. So we're doing two half doubles because we ended with singles. One. I just found that this works up the fastest for me. Two doubles. And now three triples. I've even done rows with doing um, the what is a quadruple stitch but to me they were just way too flimsy it's two three and now we're going two doubles one two and two half doubles one and I have no idea how long this is. And now three singles. One, two, three. I'm gonna go through another wave and, um, and then I'll stop this video. Okay, so we just did the single, so now I'm gonna do two half doubles. One, two, two doubles. Three triples. One, two, three. Now we'll do two doubles. Two. 
two half doubles and three singles. Uh oh. I have too much going on on this table. One. Two. Three. Now, two half doubles. One. Two. Two doubles. One. Two. Three triples. Keep going just so that I can call them out and that you have an opportunity to do a couple of more waves before I end this video. Two doubles. One. Two. Two half doubles. One. Two. Three singles. One. Two three, two doubles, a uh, half doubles, I'm sorry, one, two, two double crochets, one, two, three triples, one, And here's an area I'm going to just show you really quickly of how you can see that these are not perfect waves. See how there's a peak on top of a peak, here's a valley, here's a peak. But in the end, it turns out just fine. So don't beat yourself up about this. This is a very, very easy pattern as long as you know how to do these stitches. And, um, and then you can mix and match them for whatever ones that you need to do that you know how to do. That was one double. I'm going to do one more double, two half doubles, and three singles. One, two, three, two half doubles, one, you see how my yarn is like crazy, one, two, I usually do not do this on a table. It's like, so the yarn is like not being very cooperative. Now three triples. That was three. And now two doubles. and two half doubles oh that one slipped out and the race singles one two three i'm going to back up a little and show you again because i have a long way to go so i will not finish this row so here you go. But these are the waves that we just finished. Now, what you're going to do from here is you're going to keep going with whatever color that you have or the colors that you've joined together until you finish the row. Your next row, you'll do your row of, of, of your base color um, of um, your half double crochets all the way across. And then keep going. Um, over this week, um, these will be the only videos that I will put up this week so that this will get you started and you just repeat. What I will do is on my blog where this post is made, I will make myself available for questions or if you have any um, 
issues, you can put them in the comment box so that I will be very attent attentive there. And next week, um, we, you are going to keep going, but I am going to give you some options for doing your border, okay? So I'm going to keep going with my blanket, and, and you keep going with your piece. And if you have any questions, you can either, um, I would prefer that you submit them on my um, on the blog on essence of me so that anybody else that comes after you that may also have a question can read the questions there and so we will go from there i hope this was not too difficult for you to understand especially since i had to work upside down in order for the piece to fully show on the table because of the size but I also hope you see how very easy this will be once you get going, okay? And that you take this as an opportunity to make this something for yourself and to enjoy yourself, okay? Enjoy it. Okay, well, that's it for t um, for the tutorials for today. I think having three videos posted in one day is more than enough. Okay, enjoy yourself and you can learn more at EssenceOfMe.com and I will see you all in the next installment of this video for the Once Was Lost Crochet Along. A Once Was Lost Crochet Prayer Shop Crochet Along. Talk to y'all soon. Enjoy. Bye.